Morning. Morning, John. Morning, morning. Um, I've got the Marae for Saturday, this Saturday. And um, I'll just see who turns up. I just want to have a short hui. Uh, and then, uh, and then uh, I can take that up to Taheke. The, the, I'm, I'm going to put the those titles together at Taheke. And then put it in... What's the way at Taheke for? That's for Hori uh, Te Kuri. His, um, <clears throat> his um, um, descendants for that area of Taheke. That's... Um, um, Morris has got the original titles from the uh, British titles for there on the first survey. And I've never seen anything like that before. He's very thorough. So that that Tahike Marae used to be a native court, and his house where he's staying is the Ratanga Church. The house itself is old and falling down, but that's the original church. That's got the history there for Ratanga. It's very important because the haki there is more important than the one at Ratanga as far as the history goes for uh, the original titles that are uh, Rewha Rewha Manukau for Pukekohe and Rogan, because the Rogans put all those titles together in, uh, in Kaipara and up there in Hokianga. Did you, did you see the Paradise Papers? The which? The Paradise Papers? No, not yet. Or oh, I might have. What is that about? The Paradise Papers have just come out, uh, several million of them. Yeah. And it uh, sees the Queen being a uh, tax haven in Bermuda. Uh, yeah, yeah. One of those, those leases again. Yeah, so those are, that, it's all coming to a head because of her side of the female bloodline and the male bloodline of the King. But I don't know whether she's the culprit. Yes, she is. She, or whether the no, she's the culprit. She she is the culprit because she approved all the uh, um, uh, Westminster um, um, uh, sovereign issues. She is in charge of what happens with the monarchy in Westminster. And so she's the head of the states of the Commonwealth. And whatever she approves comes from those states, right? So she approves everything because she is she owns everything um, that the king owned before. Well, uh, um, um, why I'm um, questioning because uh, hers is a, a 17 million uh, pound uh, thing, and then she's got over she's valued it over uh, nearly 500 million pound, but 17 million. Uh, a pound of her money has gone, has gone into this Bermuda Triangle, if I might say so. Yeah, no, it's actually 17 trillion. Uh, 17 trillion. It, I've got all the figures. No, 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 no. No, 17 million, but the total money that's uh, been harvested uh, legally or illegally or illegally yeah. is in trillion. Yeah, so that's just part of it. That, that's a, because that's only just part of it, but the Queen Victoria Trust that belongs to us is what she's been playing around with on the stock market. And so that what you're saying there is just one part of her. She's got several uh, tentacles of a, of a, of a um, corporate uh, octopus that goes in all directions. And she's, because what she's done is she's gone private and got all these businesses of her own. That's why no one bows to her, because she's gone into the EU Parliament and she's running her businesses from there, not from Westminster. It only looks the face of it. She looks like she is still living in England, but all her business went into the EU Parliament and uh, that's how she's doing it around the world, separate, and she owns America and she's running her business in America, not here. She was running it here, but shifted it off when John Key 
uh, cashed up our, our, our shares on the New York Stock Exchange and put it into Australia. New, uh, I, I reckon we will see John Key's name come up. Yeah, well, he's, right, he's the banker behind all the bank scam that's going on. He's the, he's the uh, president of the, uh, in New Zealand and he's the director of, oh no, he's the director of Air New Zealand, one of the directors of Air New Zealand in Australia. And he's now the chairman of the ANZ Bank, where I put the pound notes in Auckland and Queen Street. So he's he's sort of keeping just the breast of me of what I've been doing to counter the Queen's fortunes with the King's flag we got. We have the most powerful flag to to go and investigate into her affairs because is she's there, using. Any advice in that area? Yes. Yes, we're just about there. Taheke will finish it off. Because that's where they started here in Rawani. That's where the British started and that's where it will end in Taheke Marae. When I, when I come up next week on Saturday, I've been on the Maori radio up there, Radio Totoko. So I'll put a notice there. I'll be putting another notice at the end of the week or next week too. Running up to that hui for all the descendants of Te so, so Hopefully then Saturday, all day, we, we, we're going to be talking about that chief Te Kuri. And you'll probably find that's the same Te Kuri as up, up in uh, Te Hapua. <clears throat> that Te Kuri on the documents of the British titles is the original Te Kuri that the British uh, picked. Uh, I, I want that Te Kuri also uh, because uh, uh, my, my hapu, my Tereina. Yeah. Well, there, <clears throat> there you go. This is a chance to see which Tikuri is going to match up with this original Tikuri in the native court of Taheke and back to the 1862 Native Land Act, which comes out of Refere of Manukau in Pukekohe. He sold Pukekohe, the whole place, the whole Franklin district from east to west to Rogan, the land agent, the British land agent, and I'll tell you what. The Rogans and the Manukau's in Kaipara and up there put the titles together that uh, form the basis of all the whakapapas in the New Zealand government and New South Wales government. L L Rogan did you say? Rogan, Rogan. Rogan? Yeah, Rogan. John Rogan was Mohi Manukau's... Eh? name? Hey? R, R, R for Roger. O-G-A-N. Rogan was uh, Rogan... You should have been a R-O-G-U-E, right? A bit of a rogue. Yeah, that's it. He is a rogue. He is a rogue. He married the Manukau, Mohi Manukau, but you know what they did? They switched the Te Ra Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau from uh, Maunga Tauteri down in Cambridge. They made it a female on Mohi Manukau's Papa, And that's where they hooked it into the Ratana church and took it from uh, uh, Hokianga down to Ratana and hid the Rogan over there. That's why the government goes there to get permission to use the Native Land Act 1862 that was the real Manukau down in Cambridge or that Manukau Refere for Manukau sold the whole of Pukekohe which became the Native Land Act 1862 on the 11th of November 1862. That's why I'm having the whole year. Did you say Refa Refa? Yeah, Refa Refa. They changed it to Rewa. Up north, up to uh, Rafiji. They changed it. Oh, okay. They changed it. Oh, okay. Refa Refa is down, down from Waikaremona, uh, eh? Uh, uh, well, down that area, yeah. All that. All, no, uh, well, it could have gone down there, but his homestay is in. Maunga Tauteri Pa in Cambridge. That's that's the one that went to England with Hongi Hika in 1820. Now that's the Refa Refa uh, uh, sorry, uh, um, uh, Te Rawaikato was the first Manukau that went to England with Hongi to go and get help from the government. Uh, uh, and um, what they did in the Kaipara, they split the name Te Rawaikato away from the Manukau 
and they made it a female to Mahanga. The chief Mahanga married Ripiro, a, a, a wife, and the other uh, Tira Waikato on the Whakapapa that became all the Whakapapa for Teroroa, for uh, Ngāti Whātua, for, for Te Uriahau, and for all, uh, uh, Te Tau, they were all wrong. And that, well, well, my neighbor is down here, his mother was a Mahanga. Yeah, well, that's what we need to talk about, how it got switched. The, the Manukau and the Rogan switched everything. They switched it and that's where I've caught them out and it's, that's how we get the land back. We're going to get the land back because I'm showing up the fraud in the Rogan and the Manukau, Mohi Manukau's family. They, they was down the female side and, and the male line is down in Cambridge in, in the Waikato region. So why would they make a, a, a woman tell a Waikato when the Waikato is down in Waikato and it's on the, uh, the history up in the Kaipara and up that way in the Hokianga? That's what's that's what's wrong. That's what I'm going to talk about. I went on the Maori radio, the Totoko. Oh, and that's Friday. No, no, that's next Saturday up in Taheke. Okay. Anyway, I'll give uh, uh, Morris a call. I want to find out if it is the, the Kuris. Yeah, he'll tell you because you got his phone number, his landline? I have. Okay, you give him a ring because he knows all about it and it's, uh, I think you'll, you'll be the, the only other one I can trust out of everybody, uh, because what Spundy has done, he's gone and uh, uh, he's gone with uh, uh, Calvin Davis and, and the Labour Party and that, and with the Maori government. It's on that path. It's going the wrong way. But I, I'm know, not... I know you. I know you should never be talking to any government. That's right. That's right. So you are well, right. Well, 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 that's a bridge we will come and we'll cross it. Yeah. Well, you're on track. If you, you, just you and and Manahi, and and uh, and uh, uh, Morris is on the right track, and 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 myself in Tahike because that's where the British started from, and that's where the British will end. The, the titles will come back from there. I'm telling you, I've worked it all out. And yeah, okay, okay. That's Willie. That's Willie. He's on to it. He's got it up there. Between him and Morris. I mean 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 Morris. Okay, Morris. Oh shit, battery. I hate batteries going flat because it's very important that I, I'm in li online all the time and talk. Okay, here we go. Uh, Marsh. Marsh. Well, I'll go to find Marsh's landline. Marsh. Oh, here it goes. Hi, welcome to Spark Mobile. Oops, sorry. We need to get your new Spark SIM up and running before you can make a call. You'll need either a credit card or a top-up voucher handy to continue. Okay, I've got a top-up card. If you're ready now, I'll take you through a quick setup process. Okay. Get 1.5 gig of rollover data and free 1 gig socializer. Casual text and 
Talking to him now, and I can't get to him first. Damn. Go to storage. Go to the storage center and delete some apps or files free of space. Or he said, Your phone is low on storage space. Okay. Okay, Mr. Morris, speak to me. Oh, he's on the phone. I've done it again. Save to context. Phone con A Store the context. Add new context. Sorry about this. Baker. From Baker Street. Okay. Okay, done. Let's see. Right, that's his number. Okay, so. Morris is on the phone to Willie. And this is how it works. For all you people watching, I'm putting together this Taheke Marae. Uh, Taheke Marae Native Court with Morris Baker. And now, Willie Painter. And Manahi. Parapara Mohini. Now, they're going to come to the end of the road with us and the British title. I've just been chatting to Moira Hoffman Russell. The name Russell. That's where she lived, Rawani, in that area, Taheke. All her family in Hokianga. And she used to cross the harbour to the other side from Rawani. That's where she lived, all her people over there, the Dutch are there too, and the English. All Pakistan's over there, because Morris told me. And um, anyway, they settled on the lands and split his lands up. Well, his ancestors' lands, Te Kuri. Hori Te Kuri. And so, well, he's kicked into life. He, he, he's been tracking me all along. Well, he's bang on. He's bang on. Out of everybody, Willie has come into uh, to Waitangi Marae when I opened up that native court magistrate with his leg. <clears throat> he's been working it out, and now between him and Morris Baker and Mary Ann, Hidemai Baker from Baker Street, no, Horiki Street, Horiki Road from Baker Street. Well, changed the name to Baker Street. Anyway, that's my mates. 
um, they're talking now and I'll leave them to it. <coughs> they don't have to come down to um, Te Unguwaka Marae. I've got the Marae all to myself. I have a hui by myself. And Marianne um, Matthews uh, has kindly let me have the Marae. But I'm going in there to put, set my cameras up, put this book in there with the extra pages, have my little hui, record the 11th of November 2017, back to 11th of November 1862, a memorial day that Paramount Chief Refa Refa Manikau, the real Manikau, Chief, sold the whole of Pukekohe in the Franklin County area from Clevedon, right across the other side to the Afitu, on the south side of the Manikau Harbour, Manikau Harbour, with his Moroi at Afitu, that's on the way to the beach, <coughs> and the marae was called the Manukau marae. The Minihinix stole it, because I know, I filmed it, with Mohi telling me the story, Mohi Te Māti Manukau, Paramount Chief the Fourth. The irony is this. Refa Refa Manukau sold his ancestors' land, which is Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, who sold all of New Zealand and Pacific Islands to King George the Fourth between 1820 and 1830 through Lieutenant. William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the New the British Royal Navy. Okay, well, that's how that works. And so this Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau comes from his pa, Maunga Totally, pa in Cambridge. He went to Cambridge University with Hongi Heka to learn English. Hongi Heka wasn't interested in anything else but muskets. He didn't want to talk politics, banks, land transactions and things like that. No, he just wanted the muskets. So he was out of the picture with making deals with the British government in Westminster under King George IV. And so he went to Edinburgh in Scotland and signed a deal with this magistrate man, with his magistrate court book as a surrogate King George IV and made a deal to buy New Zealand and Pacific Islands under that native title that Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau and Bishop Thomas Kebble were fashioning in Cambridge University in that time. So, they sold the land <coughs> and that's the title between 1820 and 1830 period of King George IV, and then he ups and dies. Then along comes his brother, King William IV, picks up that contract between those two, King George IV and Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manakao, and carried on with it. Sent William Simon's son, to the Manukau Harbour at Bumbonga, 
the north head of Malgao Harbour. Because they had bought that land from Tirawakato, for the head of Malgao, to land their first load of settlers, prepaid for bush scrub without title. Okay? In the meantime, this Nazi Fafa tribe in the Kaipara, with the other Manukau's, the, the ones on Mohi Manukau's side, the female line side, picked up Referefa's Manukau's titles from Pukikohi at 1862, and away they went and fashioned another New South Wales reason title. You see? And that's where the bait and switch came with the Rogan buying the land from Refa Refa Manukau, then switching it with these other Mohi Manukau bloodlines down the female line. And what they did was this, that's fraud. They took Tira Waikato, Wharehere Here, Manukau's name, and split it in half. And put Tira Waikato as a woman in the Kaipara, in the Te Uriya Ho. And that was made into a wife of Mahanga, chief, who had Ripiro, the other wife, two wives. <coughs> and the way they went with the Whakapapa, all the little siblings came out of that, and that's what you got out of Te Tau, Te Roro, uh, Ngāti Kahu, uh, Te uh, Ngāti Kawa, uh, all those tribes up north came out of that Te Rawaikato woman, and this people of this Mahanga. You see? Now, my mate, my mate, Morris Baker, brain is going flat out. And now Willie's brain is going flat out. Those, and Manahi, Mohini, his brain is going flat out. Deciphering what I've just been saying, out in front of the whole world. They knew before you lot. The whole world knew before you got it last. Because no one was reading my stuff online. And now it's starting to surface just how much fraud there is in the New South Wales, New Zealand government and Lynn's land titles. The New Zealand Crown is one big scam. And John Key's in the middle of it. And Helen Clark, Judith Collins, Michael Cullen, Sylvia Cartwright, all the Prime Ministers. All the, all, 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 all the Governor Generals, all, and the Queen, and the Rothschild, and the World Bank, the United Nations, EU Parliament, Vatican, Bank of England, ISIS, Israel, United States of America, US Federal State Government, NATO, they are all in the same scam of this Rogan title. That land block that he bought, the whole of Pukekohe belonged to Referefa Malikau. The, Ma the, the Ngāpuis captured him and the British oh, Yeah, that's this is where this is where 
Yeah, I'll, I'll soon sort them out, you'll sort them out, but I'm seeing yeah, who's... Yeah, hold on. Yeah, ring him in, ring him in. Uh, so I told him, I said, and he said, have you got that cover thing here? I said, yeah, it's here. It's in my house. I said, and this is the church house. Yeah. Oh, you got everything there. I said, well, you're angry to see it, Yeah, so... Said, and, uh, and he said, oh, I hope the sorry to call me. Uh, the one that he knows comes up. I said, no, no, cool, mate. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 and I said, and, and I said, and he's buried down the back of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, they, 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 they're, 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 they're going to freak, they're going to freak out because their fucker papa's all wrong. The whole lot of it, the whole lot of it is that, that, that Monaco and Rogan stuffed them all up in the treaty claims. The, the, the fucker papa has gone off crooked. The who done that? Not the fucker. No, they're ringing me. I'm getting a fucking aloha. Come to the meeting. Yeah, come to the meeting. Come and come to the meeting. We'll sort them out. Yeah, because I don't want you to have it. Well, he's got to tell him, oh, no, just a good account from 1600. No, no, no. No, no, they, they, they don't have the survey title. The British is in control of the whole blooming world. And all the titles. You see? So, so, well, he must be talking to someone. Not a journey that. So, he said, Oh, everything pertaining to what you're saying is he said to the editor. I said, Yeah. I no. said, I'm sitting on the wall. Yeah, so, so, unless they've got what you've got in documents, they've got nothing. They're just, they're, 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 they'll have nothing to go on. Just, just stick the poke the sticker in the middle of the ear and start talking Maori, and that's all they got. No, they haven't. No, I know. Um, I know. No, they. Yeah. So. So what happens is they lift everything up to the lawyers and 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 and, and the government to make decisions for themselves with the treaty claims. That's why they're caught up in the treaty claims. Because that's the way the government wanted and took their those titles away from them. Those papers you got. The the government the government well, wanted the get out of the you get back in here, you know, you get the bunny and all that. But they're saying they come up with the curry. No, they they won't well they'll have to come up with papers. Well, right, 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 right. You're the one be strapping their backside. See right. so yeah, so so I was talking to to um, Moira Moira Hoffman Russell because she come from Rawini, but she's saying, "Oh, John, you're right on track. You you you're right." Uh, and I said, "Yeah, it it began from there and it's going to end there. All, all their titles are going to end. The British will just chop them up. Yeah, from Rawini. That's because that's where the British started off from. That's why I was trying to tell Bundy and them." It started from Rawani, not up north. There's no business anywhere else. The business is in the hotel over there or that place in Rawani. That's where they, they that's where they started to sail across the other side and and and, and set their business up was right there. <coughs> and that's where they did that courthouse. See, they won't go with that because it's none of their business. That's why they don't know. They don't know. They've got the new South Wales. All the new South eh? Yeah, I know. That's that's yeah. why the, the fellows at the radio station left me carrying on. <laughs> yeah, well, we were talking about it again, and and, and that bloody um, that that uh, what's his name, Cody? Yeah, did he come he on? on and, he, and he was talking about it, but uh, well, he don't know nothing about it. No, he he don't know. Busy, yeah, busy shutting his mouth. Yeah, no, he he's got his own fucker papa, and uh, his Harris fucker papa doesn't come on to that title. You're stuck with the original title. That's why the survey. That's a deed. They have to have a deed and those papers, the deed number. And that deed you got is an early number. You see, it's only 89 and a 90. The other ones are in Auckland, the lower numbers. On on that original referee for Manukau, Pukikaui. That's where it all started from in the Manukau. Harbour, yeah, when they blew up Kororareka, they took it into the Manukau, then re seized all the lands. We're just about to seize it with the Manukau's title 
and start again. No, no, they can't. No, no, the thing is, they are stuck in the New South Wales, Queen Victoria side, in TT and their treaty claims. They, they, can't, they locked themselves in contract. You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get out of it because they've committed themselves to these stupid treaty claims. And they've got the wrong documents. They've got New Zealand documents. You've got British documents. See? That's the difference. I know my documents. But... But I no, no, I just uh, I just heard them talking on the radio, and then Willie rang me up, and he and he asked me, and then and then he said when I said to him, no, no, I I said, uh, who is your pretty father? I said, I'm not, and I said he's buried down the back of me, and you know what he said to me? Yeah. Oh, so you got everything there in target? I said, what? I said it's all here. Yeah. Uh, and he said, yeah, 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 and he hung the phone up on me. Yeah, no, they can't, they can't hack it because. The British started from there. The British started from, from Rawini over there. They came and sailed in there and set themselves up. And they started with, they started with that native court. And that native court in Tahiti? Yeah, that, that, well, yeah. the Marais were native courts. Oh, well, I was thinking there wasn't a court. No, they don't know, obviously don't know. The British used native courts and they used Waitangi Marais as a native court. That's yeah. a, that's their first native court there. That's got that ship there, British ship there, that opened up all the other marais. Only certain marais, only certain marais. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. That that they had to get a chief to plug the chief with the with the British title. Right, yeah? and he's big block. Could be bigger than that, but I've, I've gone right, right as far as I can with it, and it's it's your word against theirs, and and I'm saying I'm there to make sure that they they either got something or, or they got nothing. That they, they, they're only holding on to papers of uh, 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 Queen Victoria, not King William or King George the Fourth. See, that's that's the difference between you and them. And, and, and they cannot contest it. But the thing is, we're just making things legal and legitimate by putting the history back where it was and saying, who's on the land? You see? So the British, the British will seize the whole lot because it's corrupted. Their titles are corrupted. And John Key corrupted it some more. And, and they don't care. They just break the money out. Through the stupid Maori in in Titi, yeah, because they're stupid. They 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 don't know. They're quite ignorant to the fact that the history is where you are. They they just crossed it out, crossed crossed the Ratna out as if it's nothing. The Ratna is there because the Rogans kicked off things inside the Ratna with the Manukau's, the wrong Manukau's. You see. Yeah. yeah, so they, they are ignorant of Ratana that was tied up with the government because they get the government gets permission from Ratana to use that native title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they wouldn't have a clue. Oh, my friends are going to be fucking hot, man. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave it on top. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, I was stuck there. I was stuck there for years. It's in the paper. Oh, good. That's good, that's good. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 go, I'll go on the radio next Monday. Uh, yeah, and, it's, and it's, it's, out, it's, it's out in, in, in the Northern News. Yeah, that's good and because... That. Yeah, so this, yeah, this, I, I think, I think we're going to get a few people here. Yeah, that's all right. I, I, well, there's some who is on the same Saturday around. Uh, uh, I think there's some in, one in Mangamuka as well, but the thing is, <clears throat> they'll all congregate there to find out what the hell is going on <laughs> in Taiki. It's never been something like that before, but they'll be curious. They'll be curious in the radio station that I said I'm I'm coming to talk about native titles 
and I've been with Nuki for years, and and they wonder what's the connection between Nuki and and that that uh, that uh, Ratna uh, Marai that uh, that he 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 was singing in, and what's the connection with Ratna? Well, Mana he will fix them up with that one. Yeah, he he'll fix it up. He he knows. Yeah, so so all it's done is just put us put us on uh, on the British side and them on the other side, and they got no say well, because the British but the British allowed them to be there. You see, the Brit it, it's up to the British to take them away and whip their titles off them. When I take I'm taking Cook Street straight after that, and then the country, the whole country. The, I just say to the British go up and that. Um, private investigator died, he's a British Scotland Yard, and and uh, I, I set him up in 2012, but I had no money to pay him, that's why he didn't do anything. But this time, he didn't say pay me first, he just said give me a letter from the lawyer. That's, that's... No, no, he's not asking for money, he just wants a letter from, from my lawyer. And he'll go and seize Cook Street, and then he'll allow, he'll, he'll get our titles to seize the whole country off, off the government. You see? Oh, okay. That's all right. Well, I'm, I'm going to have my hui this week and I'll have a few people there and that's that's okay. I just want to mark. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it's important. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's a... Yeah. Now it's important with that title with Refa Refa Monica connected to you from that big Pukekoe block and 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 it connects to that Taiki Marae and you and that land over there with that with that survey. Yeah, it's a survey. It's a survey title. Yeah, we only need we only need a little bunch there. Uh, and and it's 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 it's, it's Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, so. Yes, so 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 this, so this is a this this is the first time it's ever been a celebration on the 11th of November, 2017. From that's that date is is the Native Land Act 1862, that formed all the native titles in the world was that day. From that big block of of Pukkai, it's the same big block. Of, it's the same big block of Tikuri, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think it's a good idea uh, that we mark that day with the day we, we're going to have up there, and put the two together. We put the two together. Okay. 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 <laughs> Is he on the radio? Yeah, do he's gone Saturday. Bring your titles. But bring your bring your papers and see what's on. Because John will tick it. He's gonna tick it. He's gonna tick it or cross it. <laughs> hey, bring your titles. I'll get on the radio. Okay. See ya. Bye. There's my mate. Oh, a bit of a change in heart with um, him and um, Willie Payton. Unless you've got survey titles with one name on it from the British survey, that whole one block of land before it got cut up, then you got no title to the whole area. You see? That's what I'm doing with the Puki Koei. Refa Refa Manikau's title to the whole place because the Rogan bought it and the same up there in Taheke. Those two places go together if you know how that works. You're not supposed to know this. You're none of you are supposed to know this. That's a bank secret. There's a bank secret and a Freemason secret of documents. The Freemasons owns these documents that I've been writing all over. Okay? 
I just split out their copyright and their patents, words, and stick my own words in on top of it. See, because I say, I'm using your documents on this video, the Freemasons, I'm using your documents, your legal documents, in my literature and my orders as a surrogate King William IV in charge of all your documents from Westminster Magistrate Court in Westminster City. That's my authority as the boss of this flag. Okay? Because you know why? Because I'm telling the story about it. The real story of this bank trading military flag to shoot anybody who gets in the road between me and the Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, and that's it. He's our legal, legitimate partner for this Admiralty flag on the high seas and on the dry land. This is a dry land flag. The Union Jack flag here is a sea flag. It's 200 miles out to sea with its bar in its court and it's docked to put you in there to try you and lock you up. We don't have bars and docks with this flag on dry land. We'll do it anywhere, anyhow, anytime, at random, in any situation, because it's a free passage through the world flag and it belongs to us, the paramount chiefs, not the anarchy, the Paramount Chiefs. It is a commercial trading bank flag of commerce. King of the Sea, King of the Royal Revenue, prized possessions and conquered lands of the King of Britain, UK, England. Okay, landlords of England. <coughs> and we are using King William the Fourth Acts of Westminster Parliament from 1830 to 1837 as the instructions for this flag. The 1834 Declaration of War flag on anybody who gets in our road will be severely dealt with. And John Key's the first one up. My private investigator, Graham Aylett, is going ahead to seize Cook Street and Rotten Point Motel and all my land blocks down in the Portiki Lua Ki Waipu area of Uetaha One Chief. Okay? And seizing Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, probably, in the first instance. And then seize Waitangi Marae and the land, because those are my carvings in there. My ancestor, Oetaha, okay, from Rapa Nui and Oraiti Island, Tahiti, Tipito, okay, to Tipito East Cape on the Marangaroa land blocks and Marangaroa Marae, Rahui Marae and Tiki Tiki, and St. Benary's Church, 1831, this is certificate. Wrapped up in this book of instructions, <coughs> <coughs> laws, <coughs> and jurisdictions. Okay, so that's me. The Freemasons are subject to this book because their patents and copyrights of all their literature, all their writings, belongs to Westminster Parliament and government and myself, the second party in a private contract with the first party, British Royal Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. That's it. That's it. Okay, you got that? So, uh, to Willie, rather curious that uh, you fellows up there have not done enough research of your own to find what land is and what it means in 
certificates, not whakapapa, in certificates that make money to live on. You can't live on whakapapa. You can only live on money made out of resources, natural resources, and or banks lending money. Okay? So the hui on Saturday, this Saturday, uh, starts at 10 o'clock. <coughs> I'll be there a bit earlier uh, in the morning. And so it's open to the public. You can come there and ask any questions about titles, native titles and Lynn's titles, land information using and titles, king's titles, queen's titles, anything you want. Energy, technology, where to from here, what's happening in the world, what's happening in America, what's happening on the news, who's what, who's ISIS, who's anything like that, who's the troublemakers, who's causing all the wars. This flag's causing all the wars because it's in the wrong hands. It's in the Rothschilds and the Queen's hands. The Queen is the culprit in all of this. And I'm holding her accountable for all the fraud and corruption in this country and the whole rest of the world. In 250 countries, this flag is going to, with the pound note and the gold coins and the water money, to seize everything off the pirates. This is a pirate's flag given to us for pirates. They've turned you all into pirates. I'm saying they is Queen Elizabeth II and her royal family of thugs and Rothschilds, her family in the Rothschilds and their bloodlines, their rogue bloodlines that marry into themselves and change names and fake everything and got no coronation, she's got no coronation, it's all fraud and her husband, the Greek man, the Greece man, Greece monkey, Philip has retired and run away, John Key's run away, you see they're all running away, you won't get far because the sheriff's coming after you, the sheriffs are coming after you, the king's sheriffs, not the queen's sheriffs, not the marshals, the king's sheriffs. They are only qualified to carry this book and no other book. This is a portable magistrate court, straight king's door, to seize any of the king's conquered lands in the world. Okay, so that's uh, uh, Willie out of the way and uh, I'm glad he ran because he's learning a bit too late. All their whakapapas are corrupted because of Te Waikato and Mahanga marrying the people and this Te Waikato is a man, not a woman. They've turned him into a man, into a woman in their Te Uriaho, Te Tau, Te Rorua, all those, because Mohi put, took me right through it on his side. He wouldn't go near Mangatoto Mountain. We didn't go there. We went everywhere.